So there is another option called scaling. So at this point of time, there's no scaling because of which we ha can see content on four pages. Let us look at the drop down and see what this means. The uh, one option which is available within scaling is fit sheet on one page. So all the data which is scattered across your sheet one will get fitted across in a single page. So what would this mean is your font size may reduce, your text size may reduce, but it will fit in a single page. So the moment I click it, as you can see, all data which was actually there in sheet one is now fitted in a single sheet. Likewise, you can play with other options and see you know what happens fit all columns on one page so it divides this into two parts sheet one and sheet two this still looks like a better proposal because your table is there your summary table is also there your two charts are also here and you have the other two set of tables which are on the second page so you can also use this set of options to kind of uh, have different kinds of printouts now let us go back to the worksheet tabs. Explore other options before we take the printout. One important thing which we need to look at before we set up the printout is the view and different kinds of page views. At this stage what we are looking at is the normal page view. There is another view called the page layout. So let me click and what will happen is uh, it will show us the document in a way it gets printed so let me just click here and you can now see that the document is changed in terms of its appearance let me just scroll it and you can see that it is now divided into various parts this is the first page it asks for the header likewise it has a footer click to header and this was the second page so actually you can use page layout to kind of decide what all things you want on the first page which areas needs to be printed on the second page and uh, let's say if you have to kind of change this layout you can so this is how you can use a uh, page layout let me now change the view and make it as a page break view so the moment I do that you can see that the page has slightly shrunk and it is only highlighting a portion of the overall worksheet what it means is that it is showing us that page one will consist of the one which is highlighted here and this contains page two as you can see in the background this dotted line is the division between page one and page two another important thing which you can also note here is that it allows you to change or resize the area you want to select for page one and for page two so I can mechanically do that one by one so let me do it here maybe I want only two pages and uh, the first table uh, with the summary on the first page and on the second page I want the chart and the tables okay so this is how I can look at or make use of the page break view when you want to return to the normal view on which you were working initially you can click on the normal view and come back to where you were initially so let's now go to the file and print preview so you can see now that you know the it has been divided into two parts one a table and the salary and the second one is the charts and the graphs and the necessary insight tables let me again go back to the home page and this time I would like to show you what different options or additional options are there under the page layout once you go to the page layout you'll find there's an interesting option which says print titles so let us see you know what this helps us in it says specify rows and columns to repeat on each printed page so this can be really useful let's say I want to have the name of the company printed on every page so I can use this print titles and the way it can be done is I want to repeat a certain number of rows at the top say for example in our case row number one and row number two row number two contains XYZ company list of employees so maybe this can become the rows which can be repeated so I can actually click here and select these two rows 
in order to ensure that these two rows are repeated in both the pages so this will be on page one and this will also be on page two so I don't have to write this on the second page again and again and another thing which is very interesting is the header and footer which we also noted when we were looking at page layouts under the header you can actually have a customized header you can also look at various options which are regularly used for uh, displaying in um, header maybe you just want to display the page numbers or uh, let's say you just want to type confidential I want to do it in the central area confidential for internal purpose only so this will be the header and it will be used it will come on every page what about the footer let us put some footer maybe you know we can have page numbers in the footer page one of one page one of two etc will come so and we click OK so now let us go back and look at how the print preview would come and now what we can see here is that it gives us a clear display confidential for internal purpose only and in the footer we have page one and two and if you look at this table this table contains the required aesthetics and the areas which we wanted to highlight and on page two again you can see XYZ company list of employees is again uh, repeated because we had used print titles and this is how you know you can make the most of various print options and page layout options which are available within the Excel tool functions